we have seen the robinson sum algorithm however we are not sure its correctness we need to show that if this algorithm terminates and when it terminates it returns an mg okay, so let's first try to see that what's the termination argument for this algorithm so it's it's fairly simple that every time we uh, make a move and uh, sigma gets more and more richer it takes away one variable and start replacing terms which have other variables are present but no new variables are introduced so every step one variable goes down okay so what will happen eventually that you will run out of variables or you exit the uh, program so therefore your this program always terminates now the other aspect is that when it returns it returns a unifier sigma only if and only if this is unifiable furthermore sigma is a mg okay how do i prove that since uh, mg must terminate okay, we have proven the termination t and u are not unifiable then mg must return fail the loop in the program terminates only when there is a unifier found which makes t and u equal if since t and u are not unifiable then there is no way we can find the unifier so therefore it must terminate by a fail and since there is a termination you have to go this way let us suppose t and u are unifiable and tau is a unifier of t and u now our claim is that uh, the following equation is loop invariant of the mg i.e. that whatever unifier we learn sigma if you apply with this tau so some some unifier between t and u uh, then it will return tau back okay so uh, how do they how do we show that initially sigma is identity therefore the invariant holds initially now we assume an induction hypothesis that at, at the head of the loop that tau is equal to sigma tau holds and then we are going to show that after the loop iteration you will not fail and this property will continue to hold the first thing i'm going to prove is that the intermediate terms remain unifiable okay so these are the intermediate terms and then if we apply tau on them since uh, due to induction hypothesis sigma tau is equal to tau so i get t tau and similarly from this guy i get tau here and u t tau and u tau are equal because of this assumption that t and u are unifiable and tau is actually the unifier so therefore this quality chain holds so all intermediate terms in your algorithm of robinson uh, are unifiable it never breaks it okay but by making any move of sig on sigma furthermore i can prove one more thing that the x t x tau and s tau are equal okay so how do i do that uh, since uh, i have shown you the intermediate terms are unifiable uh, by tau since x and s are disagreement pairs in t sigma and u sigma okay, so let's suppose there is a path and somewhere uh, x occurs and somewhere s occurs okay and uh, you and then what you do you when you apply tau on them they become equal so that means if you're applying tau on them should also result in the same thing otherwise how can they become equal okay so uh, so therefore s x tau and x tau should be the same tau using the above fact i can say that if we take a substitution x uh, maps to s and we compose with this tau it should return tau yes how do i prove that let's suppose we take take a variable y okay and we try to see where does it get mapped okay so if let's suppose y is x y is x and then i try to uh, apply uh, this composition on s y since x y is an x so the result is s okay and now s t is uh, s tau is uh, x tau so therefore i can simply derive y tau so that means 
uh, applying this composition on y gives me the effect of tau. Now let's suppose y is not x, then this composition, uh, this substitution has no impact. So I left with y and then you have y tau. And again, you have same behavior as tau. So therefore, this equality holds. Now we show that if we assume the invariant at the loop head, then fail is not written. You cannot possible that fail is written. Okay, so there are two fails, right? So no fail at the first if condition. When that happens is that both of them are non-variable. If both the both disagreement pairs are non-variable, then T sigma and U sigma are not unifiable, right? And we have shown that they are unifiable. Therefore, it cannot be the case. And then one of them must be a variable. Therefore, that cannot happen. And what about the last if condition? Can we return fail there? That is also not possible. Since we know that, x tau is equal to s tau, x cannot occur in s, okay? otherwise no unifier can make them equal, okay? right? so this, this equality can, is not even possible, There's no tau is possible if x occurs in s, okay? so therefore it doesn't happen and we don't get an fail. Now if since there is no fail, we show that the invariant will continue to hold after the iteration, okay? so all the ingredients are in place, it just we need to apply them now. For example, uh, I need to show that uh, after modifying my substitution, I still remain to satisfy our invariant. Well, uh, what we have done, so we have shown this guy is equal to tau. So what I will do, I will replace this by tau, I get sigma tau, okay. And since sigma tau is uh, equals to tau because of my induction hypothesis, I get this equality. Since we have established that this fact is invariant, so therefore at, upon termination, sigma will also be a unifier of T and U, and it also be a more general uh, a unifier than any other unifier. Therefore, it must be an MGU at the termination.